Are you and your students bored of the plain canvas announcements? then you're in the right spot. Welcome back. This is Bhavani Kola. In today's session, I will be showing you how to make your Canvas announcements fun by adding GIFs, GIFs, adding a quick background color, making that color into a gradient and enhancing it with a quick, nice border. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it and make our Canvas announcements fun. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I'm on my Canvas page. As you can see, this is a plain, boring announcement. So let's go ahead and see how many ways we can spice this up and make this colorful, engaging, and fun for our students. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this edit option here. And I want this announcement to catch the attention. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add an emoji right here. To do that, I'm going to press my windows and dot option. And because this is an announcement, I'm going to go ahead and click on this loudspeaker. And I have a quick emoji in my announcement topic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, highlight this, make this really big, change it into a bold, and there I have it. It still catches the eye. But again, this is plain and not colorful. I want to go ahead and add a GIF GIF. To do that, I'm going to go to giphy.com website. And here, because that's a test, I'm going to go ahead and look for something that tells them that the time is ticking. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in time. And let's see, who do I pick? uh TikTok. no i am just going to go ahead and pick something that's funny so i'm gonna pick this guy right here and all i have to do is click on the web link copy it as you can see i just clicked on the web link here Control a Control c copy it or you can share it from right here and just copy the link of that particular gif i'm going to go back to my announcements i'm going to click on this little image options here and here under the image upload image options i'm going to click on my url and i'm going to paste my link that i just copied and please make sure you enter a description for your alternative text just making sure we keep our announcements inclusive and keep our accessibility students in mind. I'm going to say person checking time, right? And I'm just gonna click submit. And as you can see, this is right here. Let me minimize this so you can see that. And as you can see, it's right here. I wanna go ahead and center it. And I wanna go ahead and center this one too. I'm just going to use my center align and there I have it and I'm going to save this and I want you to see how this looks. So this is so much better. Let me minimize. This is so much better than how it was before. You do have an option to minimize the size if you wish to or maximize the size if you wish to. Now let's go back. And as you can see, this does look a little bit more interesting than the previous one. But you know, I don't want to stop right here. I want to go ahead and add a background color. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on edit option. I'm going to scroll down and here I'm going to toggle between the plain and HTML editors. I'm going to click on this. And once I'm here, I'm simply going to copy this code. I'll leave the code in the description box below. And I do have a detailed video on how to change the background colors for your Canvas pages. I'll leave the link in the description box below or right here so you can check that out. And once I plug this code in, make sure when you open the division, you got to close the division. And now let's go ahead and see how our announcement looks. And there you have it. Let me expand this and as you can see, this not only looks colorful and interesting, but it also catches the eye. So I can tell my students that test three is due November 28th by 5 p.m. Now, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now you have an option to change the background colors, the borders to whatever you want. Let me quickly show that to you. I'm gonna click on my HTML. Again, I'll leave all the links in the description box below where you have a good understanding of your HTML. Instead of light blue, I'm just going to say a light yellow. And instead of solid border, I'm going to say double. 
and there you have it and again while you're plugging in your colors i highly recommend or request you to keep accessibility in mind so that students are not bothered by the bright colors so once that's done i'm going to go ahead and save it and that's how my announcement looks now let me go ahead and change the background color to a gradient color so it adds a little bit of dimension to the announcement to do that i'm going to click on edit again I'm going to go back to my HTML and I'm going to delete this one. And instead of this, I'm going to go ahead and paste my gradient. And here I'm going to toggle. And as you can see, now I have this. Let me save this. Now this gives that a dimension and depth in field. And you can see that it's much more neater than the previous one. Now you can always go ahead and add a border if you want to, which I'm going to do in a minute. So let me go back. Click on my HTML, add a border. Let me go back and check. Yeah, it now does have a border, but you know what? Instead of making a solid border, I am going to make it a dotted one. Why not? And again, all this detailed explanation of how to change your background colors and borders are in my YouTube Canvas playlist. I will leave a link in the description box below, and I want you all to check that out. And as you can see, now it does have a border and let me save this one so you can see it much clearly let me minimize this and there you have it so it does catch my students attention and it is colorful not too bright always i request you all to keep your accessibility students in mind and it also has some kind of action but just by looking at the announcements my students will not miss that the test 3 is due november 20th by 5 pm now if you want you can also add emojis right here that's totally up to you i'm just gonna go ahead windows and the dot sign and let's see what one should i put for test i'm just gonna type in test uh no i'm just gonna click this announcement you can make sh you can highlight this and change the size of this one as well just to add a little bit more colors or more character to your announcement. And there you have it. I don't like the dotted, I'm gonna make it solid. And I don't want 10 pixels, I want it to be eight pixel. There you go, it looks much more professional now. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And that's how you make your announcements colorful and engaging for your students. And all you have to do is to go to this website. I will be leaving the link in the description box below. Type up the image that you're looking for. And once you're done, simply go ahead, click on share, copy the link, go back to your announcements and place it in the URL. Oops. And do not forget to type in the description and click submit. And it's right in your announcements. Here are some examples of how I use these colorful images in my announcements. So here is an announcement for test two. And as you can see, I changed the background, add the border and a little bit of action in there. So it catches the attention. And this is another one where I'm telling my students test one is due and they're supposed to do their homework. And here is another one where I'm telling them or I'm offering help and asking them if they're stuck in a problem, this is where they should go. And let's see, here is another one where I am asking them to complete their homework right before Halloween. And here's another one that we've just seen and telling them when the test two is due. So adding these images, I think will help them remember when things are due and what the announcement is all about. And I seriously think adding these little bit of action or images in your announcements adds a little bit of humor to your classes and tells your students that there is a human on the other side, especially your online students. And it kind of makes your classes fun. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about adding these in your announcements. I think they're funny. I hope you enjoyed this quick session and I hope you learned how to make your Canvas pages fun and engaging. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know educators are always looking for ways to make their Canvas courses fun. I'll leave a link in the description box below for Canvas, Technology and Microsoft playlist. Do not forget to check them out. And leave a comment in the comment section below what you would like for me to make more videos on. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.